This is the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550. And now, here's your host, Sarah Mosin. Happy Monday, folks. It's great to be back here again. And as always, it's a brand new day. And I so enjoy having wonderful entrepreneurs and guests who have done great things. And today I have Rick Meyer. Um, and he has a fascinating past and present. Uh, Rick, great to have you here on air with us. Thank you. <laughs> well, Rick, you have such a great background. You've been with the NFL. Uh, you've also been a great entrepreneur, uh, and you've given back to the community and been a person of service. So I'd like to chat a little bit about your background, your athletic background. Can you share with our listeners what you know what you've been involved in and and where it's taken you today? Sure. Um, you know, I grew up in the Midwest, and I went to Notre Dame in the late 80s, early 90s, and mm-hmm. played football there, and uh, was around some great people, and uh, wound up with a great education, and, and mm-hmm. moved on to the NFL for 12 years of of playing quarterback uh, for seven different teams. Mm-hmm. So I started in Seattle for four years, and then bounced around a little bit, but all interesting places, Chicago, Green Bay, I went to the Jets for a season, the Niners for a couple, the Raiders for a couple, and then Detroit was my last Right. Okay. In, in 2004. So throughout all those travels, of course, you know, you meet a million people, and uh, uh-huh. the network within the locker room was one, one thing that was pretty interesting in itself. But then just the different communities and the things that, um, you know, a lot of the teams support so many different causes that are local. There's national things as well, but uh, a lot of local focus. So I got a lot of experience seeing how you know how that worked, and when when I when I was finished, um, I enjoyed having some time off and being home with my family. But mm-hmm. um, part of my brain went towards entrepreneurial thoughts and business, but then a, a lot also went to how do we help other charities and things that we're affecting by where we live and things that we can't affect by where we we are and and where we're from. So mm-hmm. that's that's been the last decade. Mm-hmm. I think that what's and I love this about entrepreneurs who are giving back because a large part of your passion is also being able to be of service. And um, what's interesting is you have a winery in California, in Napa County, called Mirror Wine Company, right? That's correct, and that's all in Napa. Uh, I live in San Diego, where uh-huh. my kids and wife are very happy. <laughs> I love San Diego. And, <laughs> it's and uh, we 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 wound up here just by chance many years ago, um, just as an off season place to train and to stay warm and dry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know, one thing led to another. I, I had uh, you know the, the time with the Forty ers and the Raiders back to back, so four straight seasons in the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. Um, toward the end of my career. So the natural business opportunity, of, you know, also as a wine fanatic, I guess, mm-hmm. or fan, um, you know, it just seemed like a, a fun thing to do. And I jumped in with the guidance of, of a few people, but mm-hmm. really kind of a, a marketing background from years ago in college courses and in, in, in that time to common sense and a strong network of friends and and people that I know, and and, uh, we've been able to grow the business, and because we have the business, the charity things have really kind of benefited as well. You know, you see wine at every charity event you've ever been to, I would Mm -hmm. suppose, and (laughs) and, uh, that's that's where my push with the charity kind of was reignited because we had something that we could work with that that offered, you know, the, the people were looking for some financial support you know, we had another thing that they might be interested in. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. they kind of go hand in hand, and, and it's been fun to kind of play them back and forth off each other. Right, and I think that that's the the big part of life in itself, having fun with what you're doing, having passion and being of service. And I, I certainly know the wine is great, and the other part of it is you are providing um, some financing for kids for health and education, which is extremely important, I believe. Yeah, that's our main focus with the foundation. We started the Meyer Family Foundation in 1996. Mm-hmm. A couple of years into my NFL time, I had given some money to Notre Dame for a scholarship. We wanted to support things locally in Seattle and also back where we're from in Indiana. And, um, you know, I blinked my eyes and, uh, you know, 10 or so many years go by, and it's like yeah. oh, 20 <laughs> kids have gone through our program from, wow. from Notre Dame that, are, that grew up in northern Indiana and had nothing to do with the athletic department. They were 
qualified students that needed some financial aid. So mm-hmm. we were there to kind of help out, you know, in our in the way we could, uh, in, in, with the endowment the way it is. I mean, we're just a fraction of, you know, of the number. But it's it's been helpful to directly to the kids who I, I get a thank you note from these guys, and yeah. I see their grades. It's just mm-hmm. it's kind of amazing, you know, how many people it's been over the over the years. But you know, that's extended on now to supporting the schools and churches and things that we're involved with out here on the West Coast, you know, Boys and Girls Club, you know, Make-A-Wish, you know, a lot of different things throughout the years. And, and really the NFL grant uh, to support the efforts of former and current NFL players has been helpful mm-hmm. also because it, it just adds another, another layer of support. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get to talk about these things that often, mm-hmm. but there's so much negative with, with – some athletes, you know, in the in the news, right, that right. It, there are a lot of guys doing great you know, things. Positive things. Yes, yeah, and we just had an opportunity to help others, and that's really all we're trying to do. Exactly, and then that's why I feel that it is important for entrepreneurs, for folks who also understand that they're athletes who are out there and the, and they're living lives after their athletic career. They're giving back, and even while they're playing, they're they're you know, are great role models because you're, you know, one thing about the media is often enough you hear things that are just negative because that's just the shock value of it. But when you're doing great things like yourself, it's, you know, for me, I, I wanted to make sure that we could share that because to me, education is key and it's so very important in the younger years and health. And so to be able to fund this great cause through the Meyer Family Foundation itself, I think it's, it's just unbelievable. And it's such a great thing that you're doing. And, folks, I do want you to be able to reach out. Is there a website, uh, Rick, that they can reach out to or a phone number they can call if they want to get involved? Sure. There's a few things. I'd say MeyerFamilyFoundation.org mm-hmm. is, is the primary one to uh, actually get to us the fastest, and it's M-I-R-E-R FamilyFoundation.org. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, like a lot of, I'm just one of many Notre Dame former Notre Dame athletes that have foundations or strong charity uh, activity. Um, we're combining forces in another thing that we're calling Irish Player Community, uh-huh. and it's basically just to shine some more light and promote the efforts of a bunch of guys from Jerome Bettis and Justin mm-hmm. Tuck to you know Ruth Riley and mm-hmm. um, you know Molly Anderson. You know, we're trying to touch all the different sports, and there's there's Oscar McBride's a big part of it. Brad Lidge is jumping on a baseball guy. Uh, we're just trying to get to the guys one at a time, and and uh, you know have a central location where people can get information. You know, mm-hmm. Lou's Lads, which is Lou Holtz's group of guys that played for him, have kind of joined forces and do a lot of things to support kids and different charities. But that that would be the easiest. And then the wine is is uh, mirror. Napa Valley or Mirror Wine Company. So Mm -hmm. that's mirrorwine.com. Right. And, you know, we can use the wine to raise a little charity money. That's kind of been the the exciting part. Yeah. Well, I like that idea. I do. Wine is a good thing. But, you know, if you can raise money and put it towards a a greater good, such as uh, raising uh, funds for children's education and health, I think that's a a terrific way to go. And, folks, you can always reach out to us here at 1-800-662-9550 as well if you uh, need to find out more information about the Meyer Family Foundation as well as Mirror Wines. And that's M-I-R-R-O-R Wines, right, Rick? Correct, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about the NFL. Like, Did you find being an athlete there was a great deal of discipline? Did it change your life dramatically? Uh, you know, I never thought about anything else, mm-hmm. you know, at the time. You, you just kind of wind up there, you know, <laughs> after college. and. right keep going about your business. So mm-hmm. um, looking back, not, now it just looks so much more violent. The, the games, I mean, I was never scared or, or <laughs> concerned about my health, but I'm watching this, <laughs> my kids thinking, man, that looks dangerous now. Yeah. Um, it, but, you know, it was highly competitive, and that's the thing that you miss, I think, most when you're, when you're done. you you got to have something to compete in, and uh, I've got business, and I've got, you know, charity things we work on, but you know, golf's not quite the same, and, and playing pool with my boys isn't quite the same, but, right. you know, it's, you get that same kind of competitive spirit um, right. that, that that you really just kind of, when you walk away, it's over, and it's done, and 
everybody goes through that. And, and also the camaraderie, you know, that's what I miss. Mm-hmm. Um, the right. winning and losing part, you know, everybody's trying hard and everybody's putting in everything they can. And sometimes, you know, things just have to go a certain way for it to work out. But, uh, you know, the, the bus rides and the plane rides that we complain about are kind of things you miss when it's all said and done. It's, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. But it was a wild, fun 12 years, and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think it's terrific what you're doing, especially with um, the fact that you're using not only the – and you, your distribution is in what states right now, Rick? We're primarily world. California, Texas, mm-hmm. New York, Arizona, Um Really not a huge production, so we're kind of a direct, um, you know, website, uh, direct order kind of play. Uh, I was drawn to those kind of wines when I was learning about wine and and collecting some smaller, you know, hard-to-get kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I want to stay that way. I mean, I think it's neat when you discover it through somebody you trust and it's not everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. So I agree. You know, we're, we're expanding. I think we're looking at a few more states. But uh, we'll, we'll remain smaller than the brands that, uh, you know, advertise in magazines. We, we won't get to that point because that's, that's not the plan. But, uh, you know, it, it is a busy thing, and it's, a, it's an incredible cycle, yes. also a very competitive yes. industry. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, the world doesn't need another, another wine. <laughs> There's plenty. Well, but, uh, it, I, it, I recommend it. I do recommend it. And I think that you're doing some good, a lot of good with it. And, and that's we're important. trying, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's that's right. That's very important. And here's the thing: we are going to be having this huge charity event, and I'm I'm hoping you can help us raise some some money. So I, I will sure. be knocking on your door <laughs> for a. Well, fun... that happens a lot. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's almost a full time thing to field those requests. But, but it's a fun event. Part of it. Yeah, it's a fun event. We, we'll uh, we'll we'll share more, and I certainly would love to have you back on the air with us again. Rick. Great. Okay. That'd be great. And folks, just remember, you can always reach us here at 1-800-662-9550. And if you want to find out more about the Meyer Family Foundation, um, you can always reach out to Rick. Rick, can you give us the website one more time as well? Uh, the Meyer Family Foundation site is MeyerFamilyFoundation.org. Okay. And uh, Mirror Wine is MirrorWine.com. Um, info at Mirror Wine gets to me directly. Mm-hmm. Um, Meyer Family Foundation has a has a um, email also that uh, roundabout gets to me pretty quickly, and mm-hmm. I respond to those. So that's probably the easiest way. Perfect. Listen, I'd love to have you back on the air, and again, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. Stay well, folks. This has been the Mosin Mortgage Program with Sarah Mosin. Mosin Mortgage is licensed in several states for residential and commercial purchases and refinancing. Call 800-662-9550.